A warning tonight for residents in the San Fernando Valley. A woman in Sherman Oaks says burglars gained access to her home after drugging her dog. She's one of several neighbors in the area who've recently been burglarized, and they all report seeing a suspicious red car cruising the neighborhood. KTLA's John Finolio reports from Sherman Oaks with a story you'll see only on 5. <laughs> Danielle Town says this is how her beloved French Bulldog usually responds when someone approaches her house. But last Thursday evening, something was different. Pretty sure he was drugged. Um, we took him to the vet that said they also thought he was drugged. She says when she got home around 7, her pup was disoriented, wobbling, and in distress. It was very upsetting. It was probably my hardest thing to deal with that night because I wasn't sure if it was something that could be life threatening. Then she quickly realized she'd been burglarized. I looked in our bedroom and it was completely torn apart. Town believes this guy is the suspect and this red SUV circling the neighborhood is the getaway car. With what appears to be a white satchel over his shoulder, he hops in the car moments before the family returned to their home on the 5000 block of Ranchito Avenue. This was like pulled open, which is weird because this was locked. All of town's jewelry and family heirlooms like her mother's wedding band and her grandmother's Rolex gone. The sliding door to her bedroom had been pried open. Town says she, her husband and their baby boy had been out for just a couple of hours and had forgotten to activate their alarm system when the break in happened. Police have not confirmed if this is the suspect, but after posting the video on next door, town says several neighbors came forward describing how their homes were recently burglarized and that they'd seen a similar suspect and red car cruising the neighborhood. Michael lives down the street. His home was also hit Thursday while his family was home. They climbed in, broke glass, and, uh, and shattered it. So you were home? Yeah, I was home. Could have, could have been a really bad situation had I walked out. Last month, the LAPD announced what they claim are significant arrests in a string of San Fernando Valley burglaries a crime wave that has left Valley home and business owners scared and frustrated. We, we've got to get, get serious about criminals being put into jail for doing things. Doesn't matter. They, they find out, oh, well, it's under $900. I'm not going to, I'll be fine. We can't have this anymore. I don't really want to make any political statements, but, uh, you know, there, we need to do something. There needs to be some kind of repercussions. Um, and I don't, you know, it's really hard. I just want to see everyone safe. Fortunately, the family dog is okay tonight. Anyone with information about these crimes is urged to contact the LAPD Van Nuys Division. In Sherman Oaks, I'm John Finolio, KTLA 5 News.